Hi guys, how you guys are doing? I hope you all are enjoying your day and today I am back with another video and today I am going to talk about uh, uh, the province Alberta. So uh, if you see Alberta is basically the hub of oil and energy industries. So most of the companies are related to either oil exploration or the technology supplier for those oil and gas industries. So without wasting time, let's talk about a couple of uh, industries uh, which typically hire the mechanical engineers. However, uh, I will give a list of other companies also which I am not going to cover. So you can go and explore yourself. You can find the link in the description below. Uh, so the first company which uh, is very famous in Canada and uh, one of the uh, largest employer uh, for mechanical engineering is Suncore Energy. So Suncore Energy is basically uh, kind of uh, they uh, uh, drill the uh, oil wells and do the refineries and uh, uh, sand oil mines also. So this is a very good opportunity for mechanical engineers. They keep hiring uh, typically the people who have experience on the uh, power plants or the refineries or process industries like that. So you can consider that as a good options. And uh, another one is Senvus Energy. So Senvus Energy is also similar to uh, Suncor. That is also one of the very big company. And, uh, and a third one is Husky Energy. So Husky is similar to uh, uh, if you are from India, you will be able to relate like um, uh, Indian oil or ONGC. It is that kind of uh, industry, Husky, and they have their own dedicated power plants as well. So they do uh, power generation as well as oil exploration as well. So I believe like they have uh, like an equal amount of uh, share in their business for the uh, oil exploration as well as the power plants because uh, in many uh, you can find a lot of husky uh, gas station as well as uh, the power station in Saskatchewan and Alberta boundary there is a city called Lagminster so they have their plant over there so uh, this is very good option for the people who have experience on the power plant side now let's talk about the uh, technology company uh, where typically mechanical uh, work happens and uh, who supply technology to all those big oil and gas companies. So the first uh, comes is uh, Siemens obviously right. So Siemens had uh, their energy uh, sector office in Calgary. So they typically hire uh, people related to steam turbine, gas turbine, generator, pumps, I means all kind of rotating equipments and then second part of it is like they have the division they do engineering on uh, uh, drilling equipments uh, drilling equipment design and the finite element analysis of that so that kind of work happens in uh, Siemens and uh, competitor to Siemens are Becker Hughes uh, which was a part of G now they are listed as independent but still it is considered say G company and then uh, Mitsubishi Power. So Mitsubishi Hitachi Power System that was his name but now recently they have changed their name to uh, Mitsubishi Power. So their uh, office uh, is in Calgary but their uh, manufacturing facilities in Saskatoon in Saskatchewan. So you can consider that as well but unfortunately right now oil and gas industry is not doing good so they may not have the vacancies right now but uh, you can keep your eye on these big companies and they are very strong in their field so the moment the market picks up for oil and gas industry they will definitely go on uh, hiring spree again so you can keep that as a, your target company so when we talk about these uh, major big companies, there are a lot of consultancy companies as well. Uh, some of them I have previously covered in a video for British Columbia and Ontario. So you can uh, go back and check it out. So I'll just uh, state the name so uh, you are aware of that and you can do your research 
on your own as well. So first and foremost is SNC leveling. So as in the previous video also I told you guys that SNC leveling has very big portfolio. They work on the energy sector, nuclear sectors, infrastructure, mining, all those things. So SNC leveling has big uh, team sitting in Calgary. So they work on uh, uh, you can say like rotating equipment uh, part. So basically uh, it, they are consultants, right? So they provide services to big companies and whatever the equipment they need to buy, they buy for those big companies. So they need a lot of uh, uh, mechanical engineers who has experience on consultancy side. So uh, you should have the experience on the proposal making, project execution, equipment selections, working with suppliers, all those uh, skill set they require. Uh, the next is Hatch. Uh, Hatch is also competitor to SNC leveling as we discussed in the previous video. And then Tetratec, uh, CIM plus uh, Stantec, uh, Fluor Corporation. So these are a couple of companies which we have previously covered, right? So earlier Alberta uh, used to be the largest economy in um, uh, terms of revenue in Canada, but uh, since 2015, the oil and gas market is started going down. So it has uh, uh, lost its place to Ontario and uh, Quebec. Uh, they have been now doing really good in because they were basically focused on the manufacturing. Uh, Montreal used to be the hub of aerospace industry, but because of the COVID-19, um, aviation industry is not doing good. So I'm not going to cover Montreal as of now. Uh, probably we will cover uh, once the market starts picking up. But if you know a couple of aerospace industry, you can definitely go back and check it out. Uh, probably in next video, I will try to cover uh, those aerospace companies name. Uh, now uh, I'll talk to the most important part, which uh, we all have the question in our mind is, Apart from these companies, what are the different recru recruitment industries in uh, Canada who can help us, right? Uh, because many companies go through the recruitment uh, agencies to hire their employees. So uh, today I'm going to cover a couple of them. There are thousands of uh, consultants uh, who do in the recruitment uh, for these companies. So first, uh, imp uh, the biggest one in Canada is Rand Ested. So Rand Ested is basically they have a kind of uh, very strong hold in the con construction industries in uh, Canada. So all the commercial buildings, uh, residential building, the big projects, they do all kind of hiring for civil engineers, project managers, uh, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers. So start following Rand Ested. Start connecting with the recruiters from uh, that industry. So they are really, really good in, in their uh, field. So if they get confidence on you uh, after interacting, uh, they will 100% place you in somewhere. So follow Randstad. And then second is Hayes. So Hayes is uh, uh, in the same field as Randstad. They do mostly do on the similar construction side. So you can follow that. And then there is company Aerotech. So Aerotech is one of my favorite. Uh, so Aerotech, if you try to understand in uh, context, uh, in India, we have Infosys, TCS, and then uh, Quest Global, right? So Aerotech is similar to that. So Aerotech uh, basically do the staffing uh, for uh, companies, uh, which we call as a direct hire. At the same time, Aerotech hire people on their own pace role and then they place to the client side. So the client will pay to Aerotech and then Aerotech will uh, cut their uh, uh, commission and then pay the employee. So it's like that. But Aerotech is the, one of the largest, I would say, staffing company in North America, including US and uh, Canada. And they are extremely good in uh, uh, placing the mechanical engineer. So you should definitely try to f uh, follow them. And then next is Tundra Technical Solutions. So Tundra Technical Solutions, they are very, very good in uh, oil and gas and nuclear energy side. So if you have that kind of uh, profile or experience, you should try to follow them. 
then there are couple of uh, other uh, one uh, sub, uh, one is matchbox consulting then aq staff um, then we have the uh, agilist design and then we have ian martin so ian martin is very very specialized recruiter for nuclear energy in canada so if you are coming from the nuclear side you should definitely uh, focus on uh, ian martin uh, they have recruiters uh, throughout uh, canada and uh, a couple of their team sits in bangalore as well so if you uh, you know some people in ian martin try to network with them and find out uh, if they can help you out in uh, uh, your uh, starting the job in canadian job market and then if you have experience in automobile sector i will suggest that you should go with modern technical staffing it is ontario based uh, company this small uh, recruitment firm but they are very very good in um, automobile uh, industry so they are basically around the windsor uh, windsor cambridge waterloo so basically the greater toronto area so uh, if, uh, if you are in that particular area you should try to uh, meet recruiter from modern technical staffing then uh, there are another couple of uh, agencies out there uh, uh, like uh, invision staffing energy resourcing uh, canada york search so yeah so i'll try to give the link of all this recruitment agency in the description uh, you can go and check it out so uh, one ca caution i would try to uh, tell you guys is if you are still outside canada please do not try to apply for any position they are not going to consider for that so start connecting with the recruiters wherever you are right now but uh, you start asking uh, for job assistant only when you are physically present in canada that will be easy for you as well as for the recruiter because the moment they hear that you are not in uh, canada probably they would not like to shortlist because they don't know when you will be here physically right so on what basis they will uh, uh, give your profile to their uh, client and how they will justify right it's natural so please do not do that uh, you will lose your opportunity uh, in that way so yeah so but uh, be positive be mentally strong and keep trying and if you have any questions you can uh, write in comment below i will try to answer as soon as possible you can connect with me in linkedin my name is potion sahu i will give the link of my profile in linkedin so you can send me questions in there also so enjoy your day uh, happy dasara to all my indian friends thank you so much for watching video if you like this video please like share and subscribe and uh, let's see you in next video thank you so much for watching bye bye